Hey y'all, hey, let's get into this intuitive reading. This intuitive message is tarot card reading, tarot card message for Tia Kemp. This reading is alleged and for entertainment purposes. Sometimes the tea is hot, sometimes it's not. You have to watch the video to the end to determine for yourself if you're new here, welcome. And if you're always here, welcome back, friend. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Okay, so as you guys know, I um, get let downloads. I mean, I tell you this all the time, but it's, it's just something I feel like I have to reiterate. So I do. Um, but Spirit is acknowledging that this individual, this energy is happy on the outside, but there's something that pains this individual, this energy on the inside. There's something that she cannot reach when it comes to her level of pain and or questioning about her past choices and or actions. There's something that is unhealed. And so she covers this with laughter or she covers this with a smile or she covers this with giving and helping others. When on all actuality, that is what they requested for someone in their physical circle their community the collective to do for them you know when somebody is hurting and they're like I, I passed so many people who didn't even know I was hurting they didn't even know I was down bad like that's the energy that's coming across like why didn't nobody see me why didn't nobody see me and so now there's this thing like it was like I want to help a lot of people I want to I want to pop my shit I want to say what I got to say because I feel like I was silenced before I feel like nobody see me nobody cared and that's the kind of energy that's coming through right I don't know what that's about but I always tell you guys I'm gonna keep it 100 with you I'm gonna put I'm gonna tell you what I'm feeling and then we and then I'm gonna move on. I don't know what her, you know, what her history is. I'm just acknowledging like this is this is the energy, and this was requested. So let's get into it. So Spirit is acknowledging that she does need to get grounded. Um, she needs to. It feels like she is operating in the root chakra, but there's energy of her needing to get grounded because there's something that puts a bad taste in her mouth, and she's trying to turn this situation into lemon aid. Okay, so lemons into lemonade and i'm just going to continue to tell you guys there's something about aid aiding aiding someone helping someone i don't know why aiding and abetting is coming up through too but i'm going to stick with this energy of aiding wanting help needing help at a time wishing that someone saw her but also aiding others when she sees it she's like i, I know what that looks like i know that face i know that energy i know that fake smile Come here, let me talk to you. Like, you understand what I'm saying? So anyway, there's this energy of make lemonade, be optimistic, persevere, seek opportunity, and get grounded, right? Get rooted. And using this to tap into one's creativity and or genius. So it feels like she's taking her pain and or her trauma, her past, and making it work for her. Because before it had her down bad, before it made her feel chained, um, enslaved. I don't know what this energy is, but I'm going to tell you what what I'm feeling, okay? And Spirit is also acknowledging that this has a lot of solar plexus energy. The fire in the belly is being communicated upon in regards to this passionate romance or and or this passionate career. But it's giving her anxiety. It made her feel like she had to be strong, be a strong pillar, strong post to her own demise to her own detriment we have water here because it was emotional and or this could be a water sign but it was um it feels very like turbulent very rocky spirit is acknowledging that she needs to focus on inner calm and deep breathing step back and look at the bigger picture okay spirit said something on the bottom of the deck this has to do with a romance that fizzled out okay you see how the the rose is wilted love is lost is being communicated that someone got too big for their britches okay stumped on her heart chakra feels like the heart chakra is affected the heart chakra has balance uh imbalances the heart chakra has blockages so there's arrogance vanity self-importance um being high and mighty modesty is needed and this energy is becoming because it has to do with holly weird this is my holly weird card this is that card where something that you wanted something that you desired your everyday wish you manifested it and it came true it's like catching everyday lightning bugs you how kids get giddy when they catch a lightning bug like oh i got it i got it um and spirit is trying to tell me something about the light um but anyway there's this blue here acknowledging that this is affecting the heart chakra spirit is around i just feel like sometimes when i get these cards like spirit is like what is that you want tell me what it is that you want and sometimes this is crazy but hear me out you get what you don't need to realize you never needed it the <laughs> You never needed it. You wanted it so bad. So here. Now your mom be like, don't eat no more. Don't eat no more. You're going to get a stomach ache. Or don't do that. Don't do that. You about to fall. And the kid keep doing it only to learn that that shit is hot. Stop touching it. That's what it feel like. It's like you wanted it so bad. And then you learn that you never needed that. You was It was not even a part of your, your, your purpose. But I'm going to let you. I'm going to let you ride out. So you can come back and be like. You was right. You know what I'm saying? Instead of somebody saying, I told you so, you come back and you be like, yeah, you was right. That's the energy that's coming off this card because there's some everyday magic. There's some Holly weird in here. It's some brouhaha in here. Um, it's a secret wish. But then next to this card, 
this moment of, oh, I got it, also makes you feel like you've been pounced on. You see what I'm saying? Affecting the heart chakra, um, having a lot of sacral energy, emotional energy, sexual energy, being pounced on, um, go get it, required an inspired action. Now is the time, readiness, and follow through. So again, it feels like you got burned in this like, wanting to have uh, let's say a lifestyle or a certain amount of this or a certain amount of that wealth, health, be that, whatever. It it don't like it, spirit is saying it don't feel good now. It just doesn't. You know, it's it's Yeah, this has to do with some type of passionate romance. Fire sign energy could be a fire sign, could not. It's a lot of passion. It's a it's a it's a flame, it's a it's a burning flame. Um, but also spirit is acknowledging that this is in the area of business, but also in the area of romance, passionate, but yet chaotic affecting the heart chakra, lots of sacral energy, lots of solar plexus energy, um, not really tapping in on the intuition as much as one should, but kind of like following their heart <laughs> and finding out what happens after that. Like, that's just how it feels. It just feels like you got into a situation that really had you down bad and there's a part of the past that you regret but the thing about the past is you gotta let the past go that's number one number two it's a lesson you either learn or you win right but either way it's a win-win but you can't continue to carry that bag now i can't energetically i'm saying that i don't know what this person has been through so i can't tell you just like let it go like that because some people have to go through a process grow through a process in order to be healed um but you know from you know, experiences and life is too heavy to carry as you move forward. It's just it's too heavy. All right, Tia Kemp, Curry Energy. Thank you. All right, we do get the intellectual in reverse. Doer, the physical. Overanalyzing body language, confusion, ignorance, mental health issues, emotionally overthinking, emotional, mind games, irrational logic, over intuition. Yeah, I just get this energy of sadness. Tia Kemp, current energy. Choices in reverse. 12, 12 is significant. Inner conflict taking over. Yeah, she's in that. It feels like a spiritual warfare within self. Okay, I'm going to leave that there. Taking on more than one can handle. Ignoring red flags. Failure to address personal issues. You see what I'm saying? And that was the download. So Spirit is just acknowledging like, yeah, it's a personal situation that makes her... A battle. All right, Tia Kemp, current energy. It's a battle. Mother of fire, fire sign energy. Passionate but yet chaotic in the area of business, also in the area of romance. Shine and rise. Yes, own it all. The good, the bad, and the potentially ugly. Own your power. Living life by your own rules is not easy, but this is what is necessary for you. Let the haters hate. You enjoy the attention. You have the power of influence. Use it wisely. You got next. They're trying to put you in a space that is rightfully yours. Not to say that she doesn't deserve to be on a large platform, but the connection that she was having to get here was not needed was unnecessary that goes back to what i was saying like you know the ancestors the universe spirit will let you have what you don't need only for you to be like you was right instead of them saying i told you so so she does have this energy of deserving this a platform a stage okay but not through a vessel that she was trying to get through to not my business not my problem many are warmed by the light you shine this makes you a magnet and social butterfly when you choose to be. Use your powers of influence for good. The mother of fire shows up as a mitochondrial Eve, whom science says is the first woman and the most recent common ancestor for all living humans. Our Eve is from the San peoples of Southern Africa. Um, 
Spirit is also acknowledging kaboom. Guess who stepped in the room? You have inherited your ancestors' passion and enthusiastic penchant for standing out. See, she's born to shine. Um, I say to the ancestors, I say to the universe, this is the energy of a queen of wands, someone very charismatic, someone who definitely um, is, is visually like beautiful people uh, gravitate towards this energy. Um, and this person, this energy, her, she's very warm, not just in the, in the business room, like and she handles her business, but also romantically. Um, but also this is fire and fire can get very hot. <laughs> fire can burn you. <laughs> fire can be chaotic. Um, fire, one minute you think you have it under control and the next minute the shit is on fire. Every fucking thing's on fire. Okay. So she needs to declare and affirm my confidence is magnetic. I say to the ancestors, I say to the universe, sending her love and light. Tia Thank you. Twenty-five is significant. Seven is significant. Water sign energy, emotional and or water sign. Feels like anxiety. It feels like sadness. Hey. I keep saying that. Thank you, spirit. It feels like depression. It feels like a lot of those things mixed together. Coming into union, meant to be, fated relationships. This could be a creative collaborator or a platonic relationship or a romantic connection. This card means your purpose and journeys have run parallel and are finally joining for a smooth ride. Soulmates are not free of the effects of time or bad behavior. You are still required to exercise free will be a good counterpart and recognize when a relationship has run its course this makes her emotional thinking about a marriage and or her marriage and or something that is dissolved something that is no longer um vital vile um recognize when a relationship has run its course so there's something that she's still biting on in regards to relationship tia kemp current energy Thank you. We do get desert, dry desert. Forest significant. Dig deep for inspiration and truth. Now is the time to become resilient and adaptable. Now is the time for her to become resilient and adaptable. Is your life presenting you with opportunities that seem to yield nothing? Have your ideas dried up? Does it feel like on an endless journey through a dry, hot, lifeless desert? This card reminds you that there are times when you're meant to become resilient as your journey as you journey through harsher circumstances. You're being required to conserve your energy until after consistent effort you reach the oasis you're searching for. Consider the creatures that live in these conditions. They have adapted to thrive in spite of the outer environment. In a desert, water essential for life can be found deep underground go deep within yourself now spirit is requiring her to go on a spiritual journey within herself to go on an, an enlightenment journey for herself soul searching journey like the hermit card hermit mode Find your truth there. Let spirit sustain you while you locate the real source. Whatever it is you're asking about will not be found in the conditions you are in until you move past the surface of things and choose to do the real work and discover the answers deep within yourself. You know, a lot of times, side note, people think like this, this whole journey is about discovering um, some truth, some, some hidden uh, gem, some unknown, unmarked territory. And that's not the case. Yo. Like, I mean, just energetically speaking, the download is, is that stuff was discovered a long ass time ago. The real focus and the real journey in life is discovering you, you yourself. Like, who are you? Why do you respond the way you respond? Why do you react the way you react? What is it that you need to be a better person, better human, better soul? Like, that's the real, that's the real uh, mission. I promise you, like, once you discover yourself and you really untap those gems, like you wake up your higher conscious self and you don't have to pretend anymore. Like <laughs> I heard this quote the other day and I literally was like, yo, that's me. And then I questioned myself and I said, is that really you or do you just like the quote? Like, let's keep it 100. Are you really that? Are you really like that in real life? Or do you just like the quote? Like, do you just like the way it sounds? Do you like it the way it sounds when you say it? Because that's really not you. And I was like, you're right. You're right. That's not me. <laughs> 
And I really did. I like the saying, but it really does not apply to me. <laughs> and that's what I'm saying. Like, I can laugh at that because I'm I'm one with myself. I'm real as fuck with myself. Um, and that's that. I love me. And so I can keep it 100 with me. And that's because I've done the inner work. Have I done everything? Hell no. I'm still here. I'm still learning. Let's get it. Let's, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Let's, let's be real. Let's be real. As long as you living, you're learning. Um... <laughs> We about to go there Don't go there But I was about to hit you with the whole physical body or not As long as you're living You're learning hey. Thank you spirit I ain't gonna do it Anyway let's get back on topic Um, So back to her Whatever it is you're asking about Will not be found in the conditions you're in Until you move past the surface of things And choose to do the real work And discover the answers deep within you This may not seem like the most productive time But looks are deceiving This is the most important place To find what truly is right for you Yeah There's no better time Than the current time You know what I'm saying Especially when it comes to you Put you first Alright Tia Kemp What's the tea? Ashe 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 Oh <laughs> Yeah, I just, I'm, okay, let's, let's just let the cards do it. Thank you, Spirit. All right, so Spirit is acknowledging that people are really curious about her, but she's curious about herself as well. There's also this energy of her fake flex and acts rich, flosses money, acts fancy, and shows off. That's her business. But she's also haunted by memories, hence why she has to fake flex. She's haunted by the fl flashbacks, hence why she has to fake flex. She's haunted by the trauma and the side effects. Spirit is also acknowledging that there, she's also haunted by this chemistry um, about good chemistry, great vibes, and a positive person. <clears throat> affecting the throat chakra but in all actuality this good chemistry was an obsessive lover was dangerous toxic unhealthy possessive and karmic i say to the ancestors i say to the universe spirit said that this person also okay just give me a second Thank you, Spirit. Spirit is also acknowledging that this person whom this energy is talking about as a um has child neglect was a bad parent. Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> Love it. All right. Um there was a wolf in sheep clothing. They was a player. They was into the game. Um, they was looking her up, researching her, studying her, and getting info. She was marrying for money, married this person for money, and now is crying. Um, and this person is a later energy is crying over her as well, sad, hurt, and upset. This person might have had multiple lovers, multiple women, and it makes her come off as a hater, a happiness hater. But this is layered energy because this is vice versa. Like you say that about me, I say the same damn thing about you. Spirit so is also acknowledging that there's with a vehicle with a car and or could just acknowledge like there is no forward movement there is no movement because it is sitting still there's no direction to take accountability and responsibility for where you are spirit is acknowledging no car repo and or car issues be careful okay tia kemp current energy There's an energy of seduction, lies. We get the Queen of Wands in reverse this time. Fire is burning low in the area of business, also in the area of passion. Passionate but yet chaotic. Lies, strictness, disorganization, prudish, moralistic person who tries to impose their values on other. She's trying to be resilient in this energy subconsciously, though. Ongoing battle. This is why she feels like this. This is why this behavior comes up like this. This is why um, she comes off prude and, and with lies and strict and disorganization because she's dealing with an ongoing battle. In the area of business, also in the area of pleasure. A passionate but yet chaotic. Um, she's trying to be resilient. She's tired. She's this is, drains her energy. Um, she's this close to success, but she also feels like she has to learn from her past failure. She's trying to gather her strength and fight in her corner. She's always fighting and she's tired of fighting. This is why she comes off, um, like Spirit keeps wanting me to say, disorganized, a moralistic person who tries to impose their values on others. She's finally like, this is energy of, oh, 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 now I'm going to stand up for myself. See, I was quiet back in the day, but now nobody tried to help me. Nobody tried to see me. I was down bad. Now here I go. Oh, boom now try to now try to silence me like now try to shut me up kind of energy okay spirit is also acknowledging with the temperance in reverse there's an imbalance here she's very emotional in this energy and she needs to get out of this there needs to be balance it feels like um it's draining it's heavy there's anxiety there's um it's toxic it's imbalanced self-indulgence excess clashing lack of perspective discord 
antagonism, recklessness, and hastiness. And this is happening quickly. But something else is going to happen because of this energy. So she needs to be careful. Hence why I said be careful. Okay, there's hastiness, speed, progress, movement. There is some kind of excitement about things really taking off and, and feeling very like powerful, gaining momentum. But this is also very cautionary as well. So just be careful. You know, you don't want to go too fast. You don't want to go too fast. What are her obstacles? Remember, I read biggest obstacle in reverse. Okay, so there's an obstacle of being forceful, um, a lack of direction. Second time we hear that, this is the chariot in reverse. Again, water sign energy, emotional, draining, anxiety, depression, lack of self-control is an obstacle, powerlessness, aggression is an obstacle, coercion, being blocked by obstacles is an, is an obstacle. And this is also affecting her heart chakra. Again, water sign energy could be um, a water sign, could be just emotional, but this is very emotional. This is draining, this is depressing. So so unrequited love is an obstacle, illusions, escapism, lies, someone with a fragile sense of identity is an obstacle, and a poor per and poor personal boundaries is an obstacle. Not practicing boundaries. Um so spirit is just acknowledging, like, you know, she's trying to protect her heart, but she's it feels like energetically she's going about it the wrong way not my business not my problem remember you guys i read energy this has nothing to do with my personal interpretation of whatever is happening in her life i just read the energy y'all okay thank you all right spirit is also acknowledging in reverse we have the five of pentacles so unemployment is an obstacle frustration is an obstacle um a spiritual awareness is an obstacle a failure to um be restored um, is an obstacle because it feels like you constantly got to keep your guard up. You don't know which way to go next. Um, the end of poverty or unemployment is an obstacle. So it's also this energy of feeling like money might be funny. Money might not be the same. There's some money coming out. Um, there's some heart balance, um, heart chakra imbalances. And there's also this energy of um, all the other chakras not being in alignment when the heart chakra is not in alignment. I show to the ancestors, I show to the universe. Another obstacle, again, see, we get it again. Same thing applies with the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Unpaid bills, money problems, bad debts, greed, selfishness, stinginess, miserliness, biting off more than you can chew are all obstacles, sending her love and light. All right, what's next for Tia Kemp? Thank you. Spirit is acknowledging with the page of wands in reverse, acting out, lack of energy, discouragement, obstacles, someone who breaks your heart. See, this is the energy around this um, romance, loss of romance, someone breaking your heart, fire sign energy, L flame is burning low in the area of business, also in the area of passion. Spirit is acknowledging subconsciously she's still going to trot to the bag. She ain't running, but she's going to take her time and follow along this path. She's patient. She's focusing on perseverance. There is some unexpected sources of uh, money coming in subconsciously. Spirit is acknowledging that time heals all wounds to so take her time to focus in on just healing that heart chakra, um, having non-negotiables around the heart chakra. Spirit is acknowledging that she is reliable and moving forward, she will be patient. She is a hardworking person and she wants to work with hardworking people. Um, she's trying to persevere to reach her goals in the middle of the deck with the high priestess in reverse. If you don't know yourself and if you don't get like firm in knowing who you are at the core, not giving everybody what they want to see. You and, and, and it, the energy is acknowledging that you will be lost. You will be lost, and so spirit really wants her to like drown out the noise. Put on your, you know, your. I don't know why the spirit is saying your goggles, <laughs> but you know your glasses and focus forward don't be distracted to turn left or to turn right stay the course it just feels like stay the course and the course is really about self discovering self discovering who you are um and nurturing your inner child but also nurturing those wounds that have yet to be healed so that you can move forward because there's an energy of misuse intuition which creates a lot of sadness um anxiety acting out on, on bias or prejudice which creates a lot of sadness manipulativeness which creates a lot of sadness in the middle of the deck what we can't see and a lack of emotional control which creates a lot of sadness you know spirit is acknowledging when the cameras go off this energy can be very sad i'm um, very hurt um but they you know for everybody else, they put on a smile. Um, and so sending her love and light, sending her high vibrations. This reading is alleged and for entertainment purposes. Now we sit back and let the universe do what the universe does.